What if our employees delete a whole bunch of records and we need to restore them? What do we do? Well, one of the options is actually to not allow your people to delete records like that. And we've got an application as an example here. And I'm going to go look at the role and permission of a group of people that will use this and we'll call them sales. And we're, we've decided in the role that they can never delete any records, but they still need to get rid of these records out of their reports. They've canceled an account or, or, or some such. Well, what if we have a checkbox on the record that says, well, gee, if somebody checks this checkbox, it'll disappear. And that's what we've done. We've got a checkbox called soft delete. And if it is not checked, that allows you to see it. But if it is checked, it'll disappear from their view and they won't be able to delete it, but it'll be something that can be escalated to an administrator to decide. So how, how does all this work? Well, we've got a bunch of records down below here. And if I did it as an administrator, you'll see I press that button and what that record does is it checks this checkbox. Now, that is going to be invisible to anybody in the sales role. Now, let's go into this record just to see what we've got. We've got this checkbox, and if you right click on it, you can see this is field number 26. So that's a checkbox, and here's a button. Right click, edit this, so you don't need the, the button to do this. You could do this with uh, just by checking or unchecking the checkbox but uh, it's kind of uh, interesting to see another way to do it. What this is saying, look at that checkbox, and if it's unchecked, I want you to invoke this API call, which does what? It edits the record and takes and puts a checkbox in field 26. Now, else, that's if you press it again, it will uncheck it. It'll take an uncheck field 26. And after each time this is done, it reloads the page where you had it. So that's the foundation for how this works in the background. Let's uh, look at it from, there's a record that's checked, so that should be invisible. But to us as administrators, there's a hundred records here. But I'm gonna take on the persona of a role of a salesperson. And here we've got 99 records. So the salesperson reviewing this and says, oh, I don't, this, this account, Acme, I'm gonna get rid of these. And, and notice that they're disappearing and now all we have is 97 records of ours. And if I go back to the dashboard or anything, this, this allows you to do it um, here. Let's view this. And since we're on the displayed record, I'm gonna click this. The checkbox is checked. And notice I don't have access to see that record anymore. So let's click into um, contacts here. Now from, I'm gonna end the test here and you'll see that we don't have 96, we still have 100, but these are flagged. So let's create a report, which we've done, called records are flagged for deletion. Click, and this shows me all the records that need to be deleted. And you could do a monthly automation that says every month go through, and if these are checked, delete them. You could dilute, do that with an automation. Um, or you could click in here as an administrator and put them back into service. We're now unchecking these. And now as the um, as you start to look here as the salesperson's role, what you're going to see is that they can see all 100 records again. So it's a way of restoring records that have been uh, removed from site just using a checkbox and a formula URL button.